Hey, what's up guys? This is Toriel. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'd like to go through with you what type of hard drive you should be using for your video production service or any type of um, editing work. So I've been acquiring these hard drives for the past few years. I'm always looking for deals when it comes to drives and I almost buy every one of them on a discount or on a sale and I end up, um, you know, grabbing a really good deal. So recently I came up with this option that I can make my own external SSD just like Samsung T3 or T5. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make one of these or should you be using one of these for your own editing workflow. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So first, let's talk about um, what type of hard drive you should be using. I'm not going to go very techy, very spec oriented in this video. I'd like to just share with you my own experience using them. One of my favorite hard drive, this is a Seagate 4 terabyte hard drive. Um, this hard drive is actually just store my large files it's go it's up to four terabytes this might last you for a, for a while it's a little thick bulky but um pretty fast speed fast hdd hard drive so um nothing to compare with the ssd we're gonna go in in a few minutes if you're looking for a hard drive just to store your files and you don't require um a very high speed for it this is definitely a really good one to go i'll link all these um products in the description if you end up liking them go check around on amazon and you might find a really good deal on it okay so next hard drive i'd like to talk about is um the lacy this is a 2 tb and the good thing about this is it has a thunderbolt cable so I, I get to use it for my macbook i'm using a 15 inch um 2015 so it has a thunderbolt input um so this is a perfect one just kind of like heavy duty so you're not gonna worry about dropping it or anything um well honestly i i i did not appreciate the speed for this because um i'll show you some screenshots um i've, I've tried um yeah i've tried the usb 3.0 i've tried usb 3.0 as well as uh the thunderbolt the speed i got for this guy is 87 um megabyte per second right and 114 read so again this is a slightly expensive one and if you find a good deal on this thing especially if you have a thunderbolt in then this might be a, one of the really good solution next one is one of my favorite one okay you're gonna if you google ssd for videographers you're gonna find this guy everywhere this is a samsung t3 this is version one they have a version two it's called a t5 so there's a slightly um, of a speed difference but um, not much beauty for this is um, it's so small it's almost it fits in your pocket you see what i mean and i uh, have a case for it so it kind of protects it and yeah the speed for this guy it, this is a ssd right it's not hdd so it's going to be definitely faster so the speed i got for it is 381 megabyte per second that's right and 427 read megabyte per second so again this guy is very very powerful but this can be a little pricey sometimes you're probably going to get this for 400 up to 550 600 depending on where you're from okay so this is my my one tb hard drive this is only one terabyte if you have a, some sort of bigger interview or a series of interviews then you're probably gonna look for two terabytes okay on amazon.com 2tb goes for about 400 dollars plus 40 dollars shipping let's say 450 usd in canada it's probably going to be 550 600 for two terabytes so it can get quite expensive you can see you want to utilize the processing power of your machine and you want to utilize an external hard drive so you can read and grab footage and edit and write footage on this little guy very very fast okay i'm talking about double or triple your editing flow versus if you use some sort of thing like this okay it's at least gonna double it the fourth option is that um, you can actually buy what's inside of this you can buy what's inside of it and you can buy a little case for it we call it enclosure you can buy it for 20 30 bucks and you can assemble it 
it takes about one to two minutes i'll show you how to assemble it and then um there you go you have a 2tb ssd i'll show you a story behind this i always look out for deals sometimes because um just because we're in a very expensive industry and a camera camera lens can can cost you a few grand right so what i found is that i was on craigslist one day and i found a two terabyte ssd which is by sendisk two terabyte ssd and this is a m.2 i'll dive into waiting a bit you want to get m.2 because it's just very small and portable and this is a x600 series so i bought it for 300 canadian okay if you buy brand new it's probably going to be 550 to 600 so i literally caught a deal that's half price so i spent 300 bucks for the ssd because i wasn't sure if it's going to work on my mac or not so i have to stop by at my local computer store and i asked them for an enclosure and they turned out have one it took us right there. It took us a few minutes just to assemble it. It's very, very easy. So the procedure is you're gonna unscrew it, you open it, and you're gonna see a panel and you want to insert your SSD into the panel, stabilize it by screwing the screwdriver and uh, close it. And then you screw it up, make it seal, make it tight. The good thing about this is at the end, it has all these little small holes. So it's good for, for a heating issue. So when I bought this, this is a little troubleshoot for you, okay? When I bought this and uh, it came with a cable like this and I connected it, hooked on my, on my MacBook Pro and I opened my disk utility trying to reformat it. But it keeps disconnecting for some reason. Every 10 seconds, you'll find this guy and then you will lose it within five seconds. So it's kind of like disconnecting back and forth, very frustrating. I thought it's the SSD problem. I thought it's enclosure problem. So here's a tip for you. So if you end up having the same setup as me, before you jump in the conclusion that the enclosure doesn't work or the SSD doesn't work, I would recommend you to try a different cable. This is a very, very high quality, very thick and high speed cable. 3.0 cable so as soon as we try this cable and it worked like a charm and the speed i got this guy is slightly higher than this okay with a half price of samsung t5 or t3 i got a speed for about 409 megabyte per second right and 428 megabyte per second read that's versus 381 megabyte per second right for samsung and 427 megabyte read for this little guy so that's a before and after comparison so give it a shot you might find out a really cost efficient cost effective way to build your own little ssd and i strongly recommend you to be patient with it always look for a few deals if money is not an object for you then definitely grab some high-end premium product like this but if you want to save a few bucks here and here and there then i will definitely recommend you to go shop your own ssd and to make sure your ssd is m.2 the m.2 looks a little thinner longer and i will link a few of them in the description so ssd m.2 and then make sure you go with the right enclosure for m.2 and i strongly recommend you to you know keep an eye on deals on ebay on amazon or on your local craigslist that's where i found mine for 300 bucks canadian for two terabytes so if you want to save a few bucks here and there then definitely look for some deals when you catch a deal that's a really good price for ssd these things go on sales every every once in a while so definitely keep an eye on it you're probably gonna get two terabyte for a few hundred bucks and then remember you can always get enclosure make an ssd external for yourself for your own video production service just a quick recap in this video i share with you these four different hard drives okay these two ssd fast ones i use them for quickly transfer the footage or i use also use it for video editing which can double or triple your efficiency and productivities and when it comes to storing the files storing the footage i recommend these two 
again this is my personal opinion because there are so many big system out there i'm talking about only the portable ones okay so these two will be a really good one this one is very very cheap i think this is 140 dollars canadian and it's four terabytes totally worth it if you want after you edited all your footage put the raw footage in here so you'll never you always have a backup have a copy of it i'm sure a lot of videos you watch they talk about make sure you have a double you always have a duplication of your raw footage so anything can happen for hard drives if you drop it if you damage it you don't want to lose your data so you always want to have a copy for it anyways guys i hope you guys found some value in this video and um, let me know what you think drop a comment in below see which one of these is your favorite one if you happen to make one as I recommended, definitely drop a comment below. I want to hear your thought. I want to hear your experience. I've been using this for a few days now. It works like a charm. Strongly recommend you guys to give it a shot. Subscribe to the channel for future content. I'll be posting more and more videos just like this. Thank you for being with me, guys. Hope you guys will crush your day. Tario sign up at Tario Productions. Take care.